Hello ladies and welcome to another episode of Polly's Crossing Over Crafts and Creation. So I've already put out about three other videos on how to tie um, an infinity scarf. On those videos I used the um, stretchy infinity scarf material. Sorry. Um, the one that I'm going to be doing um, right now <laughs> sorry I am so tired um, is the non stretchy infinity scarf which I have around my neck so I'm going to show you maybe two three if time permits um, ways of how to do this particular scarf this is a little harder to work with um, because it doesn't stretch you can't really wrap it the same way that you can a stretchy um, infinity but it doesn't make it any less pretty or simple um, to wrap with it. So let's go into style number one. As you can see, I am wearing a volumizer. Well, actually this one is called the Ultimizer. Um, it is a Judith de Paris um, Ultimizer. And it is, see that? It is a low volume um, vol uh, Ultimizer as the bun is a lot lower as opposed to the one that I used in my other videos which was the black um, high volume ultimizer that Judith de Paris um, offers. So I'm going to use this scarf, we're going to get started and on these infinity scarves um, sometimes you get a wrong and a right side it really doesn't matter. I'm going to bring this up. <laughs> you can't see me now, can you? <laughs> and I'm going to put it on my head the same way that I would a regular tickle. <clears throat> now with this volumizer, like I've said in the other videos, I love because you can leave the volumizer showing. I have the black, I have the white. This had black in it, but I wanted to do something a little bit lighter and I hadn't gotten to play with my low volume um, Ultimizer yet. So I wanted to get a chance to play with it. So I'm showing you guys. So I'm gonna leave a little strip of white to give myself a little contrast. And I'm gonna put this on just the regular way. And I love the Infinity Scarves too because they have all sorts of designs. So you're gonna see this nice pretty pattern on here, okay? I'm going to turn around, I'm going to try to talk a little bit loud, show you how to tie this in the back. This one's a little bit harder, but we're going to work through it together, okay? So I'm going to grab, just like I would in the other one, I'm going to separate in the back, grab my two ends, and I'm going to cross. Now I'm going to make sure that I have two loop holes on here. The last time I was practicing with this, for whatever reason, I could not get my two loopholes. As you see, one side gets a little bit more fabric than the other. But I can take this, let this hang, okay, and pull this one around and let it hang with it. That is a very basic, what I like to call waterfall style. Okay, I'll put this so that you can see it a little better. That's a basic waterfall. And you can go ahead, put on a headband. Here's one with the flower already on it. Add a little oomph to the side, and you're done. Okay? That is one style. All right, take that off, and I'm going to take this to the back, okay? And I'm going to try to pull this a little tighter, and I'm going to get my two ends. 
I'm gonna leave the short end and I'm gonna grab the long end of the infinity scarf, okay? Sorry. I'm gonna let this fall down here and I'm gonna take both of the ends. I can tighten this a little bit. Make sure that you fix the front so that it doesn't look all funny. Sorry. Covering this here. All right. So I'm gonna take the long end and lock the, this end, the shorter end of this side. I'm gonna take this, sorry, and I'm going to cross over, okay? And I am going to tie this here. And I have this wonderful little electric slide blip by Aaron. Hughes, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to clip. These are great little clips. I really love them. Oops, sorry. Technical difficulties. And I'm going to clip and I'm going to leave the little ends. Okay. And I'm going to take this and drape it, okay, and drape it across and over this way, All right? So right there, I have a nice little waterfall or cascading, just fixing it a little bit, you can play around with it. A side wrap in that lovely so this is one side the back Ta -da -da. around and the top so that's one style that you can do style number two okay take that off now, do the same thing I can pull this and I love these because they're so versatile. And I can twist this little, this side. And twist, twist, twist. And take this and tighten it and twist. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap this baby around here. And I'm going to tie it. Sure, I fix this around. They do get loose a little bit sometimes. Sorry, I'm making faces again. And for those of you who like something a little more fun, <laughs> a little flower. All you do is play around with it. These things are awesome. So I just made a flower. The bun and bow, okay? Again, you can leave this by itself. It's such a pretty little wrap. Or you can take a nice clip, put it on this side. I would not add very much to this because this is just really so pretty, just the way it is like that. I really like it. So that's another style. Okay. Take this down. Sometimes they can get a little loose, so play around with it. Pull them forward. Pull it forward a little bit. Tie it again. Sorry. to one side and I'm going to pull this through spread it out a little bit and I'm going to take sorry clip I love to use 
and grab it and pull it through. And just drape it. So, here's another style with a cotton infinity scarf. So ladies, your imagination is the only thing holding you back from using an infinity scarf. It really is not as difficult as it would seem. It's actually pretty easy and fun to do the infinity scarves. So open your minds, use your imaginations, and be creative. Grab different clips, headbands, add all sorts of different stuff, and just make your wrap more exciting. Have a good one. Bye.